Bill Pickle food travel adventure. Here is my ma sitting on the beach in beautiful Fernandina Beach. We're at uh, what is it, Access 8? Santorini house right behind us, Blue Bubble. One of the best beaches because the walk over, no staircase, no nothing, just through the dunes, smelling the air. Um, caught some redfish. Just out here fishing, enjoying the day, and it's so good. It was so good to go up to New York, but it's so good to be back in Fernandina Beach, Amelia Island. If y'all haven't been here, um, it's a place of kindness. I mean, anyone, you can walk up to anyone on the beach, and I guess it's beach people, wouldn't you say? Beach yeah. people are generally friendlier. Mm -hmm. The beach makes you friendly, too. It just makes you calm and kind, and it's uh, a, awesome. the best place to be. So that that is a thing. Is like you go to places, you go hike mountains. People who hike mountains typically are friendly. People out on the beach are typically friendly um, because we're all enjoying the same space together and just trying to make the best of it. And even in New York City, in the heart of New York City, I mean, there could be people having hard times, people making big money on Wall Street. You'll meet people who are so kind and just, it's surprising. I'd say this, in New York City, it's surprising when you're kind to them and they're kind to you, you're like, oh, it does exist everywhere. And I think that was one of the big parts of this channel was showcasing the kindness of people around and how that gets you further. I mean, there's people out there looking for jobs. Well, guess what? You want a job? Walk up to a stranger, be kind. You never know what they own, what they could hire you to do, you know? And uh, there's people out there, you know, who are depressed and sad, and you say one nice thing to them, and next thing you know, they're happy, and well, they're I, not, you know, you never know the impact you have. That's the point. You never know the impact of kindness until you do it. I think it's a chain reaction, too. If you can be kind, then somebody else will be kind and they'll be kind to the other person and it's a chain reaction and it's a good chain reaction and that is a you make a good point positivity you know? what is it the uh, butterfly effect which we love mm -hmm. butterflies um the butterfly effect is a butterfly can flap its wings in california and by the time it it causes enough enough inertia that by the time that air movement reaches kansas it's a tornado Wow. And and there's a butterfly effect. You can do one kind thing and it rapidly increases because they're kind to someone who's kind to someone. And before you know it, by the time it spreads across the country, you have millions of people who have been kind to one another, which makes this a better world. Um, I think Mother Nature, though, too, puts oh, yeah. you in a better mood. Yeah. I mean, it can be harsh, it can be ugly, but it can be absolutely beautiful and it's always breathtaking. Well, Always. And Mother Nature is an interesting one. Why do you think we all like it? Because our ancestors, and we're not just talking three generations back. We're talking going back to the source. They were in nature. We have a bonfire, right? You have a little fire and you just sit around it and you're looking at the flames, maybe playing music, whatever. They were doing that also, not only a thousand years ago, but 10,000 years ago. So it, it's almost like encoded us to love nature because there was a time, not even 200 years ago, where all there was was nature. That's mm -hmm. all we could do. Um, but, yeah, no, it, it is good to travel. It is good to have a nice place to come home and to get to sit on the beach with Mom. Aww, it makes always it, my favorite. <laughs> it makes it so nice. Aww. And to my brothers out there, we love you. I know you're going to watch this and you're going to be like, oh, I wish I was sitting right there. Love but and miss you guys. You guys are here. We're breathing the same air, you know. Yep. You're doing something different here, or there, all over the world, or different parts of Florida, and uh, you're loved, and you are still hanging with us because you come up in conversation. We can't get blood is a weird thing too, like DNA. Mm -hmm. Your own blood, as much as they can piss you off or upset you, you can't shake it. You can't help but to love them. It's like almost like it's, it's a, a it's part a, of you. It's part of you. It's you know? a part of you. Family. So, I mean, that is important. I mean, fishing out here with the old man, him catching a redfish right off the beach. You'll see that video posted. Um, that shows you what you're supposed to be doing, you know, and take the time. We're coming into the holiday season, which I think, regardless of religion, December and Thanksgiving, November and December, yes. they bring family together, regardless of religion. So... It's important for everyone to realize that it's about coming together. It doesn't matter what your faith is. is Be kind to one another. Love one another. Um, showcase different things that you have. Because you might have something nice. Well, they have something nice. That's right. 
And this season, we're coming into the season where we people come together. And I think that that's why everyone loves Christmas. And yeah, you know, there's religious beliefs behind that to each his own. Whatever you like, you like. But don't get it twisted. The reason you like it is because you're coming together with people you love. That's right. That's and, uh, right, Dean. That's exactly it's, right. It's ha- Hallow's Eve. So it's uh, oh, Devil's yeah. Night tonight. That's right. Maybe some mischief will ensue. But uh, for now, we're just going to enjoy the beach and the sun and just kind of, you know, hang. And I hope know? all the kids have light Halloween costumes for today. Yeah, it's a little warm. <laughs> it's in the 80s. We're suffering here <laughs> yeah. on Amelia Island. Be um, considerate with the Halloween costumes because yeah, you're right. You get be hot. Be careful. And it's, growing uh, up, we would always dehydration. pick things oriented to the, you know. Let's say you're going to be an army guy, a soldier, which remember, I was always told, we cut the sleeves yeah. off, we'd make it shorts. You know, you can still do the costume, but you got to go a little chillier, you yeah. know, like that way, you know, because they're running house to house excited and they're dripping. Some of the materials they're made out of, too. Oh, they are. They're very hard to breathe. You the know, it's like straight breathe. polyester. I mean, cotton. even yeah. if it's thin, it's not breathing for nothing, but, uh. Hopefully a lot of young people get ha- Halloween candy tomorrow. Um, hopefully tonight, maybe some mischief. If you're throwing eggs, do it to the right people. Do it to the people who aren't kind. Or don't throw eggs. Just, you know, go out, toilet paper your neighbor, and you then know, tell them you did it. You know, I have a that's good fun. suggestion what you can do. If your neighbor has artificial flowers, just take the bunch out and put it in somebody else's yard. Ah, that's, that's not a heart, um, a hurtful Right, yeah. If they have artificial flowers, you move them. That's all. Don't you know, do anything harmful. Remember all these pranks, too. They take, like, whether it was a deer or a gnome, and you take it and take pictures. As long as you bring it back and put the pictures with it, no mm-hmm. harm done. I mean, any of those things, that brings joy. You'd be surprised. People come home, and their gnome was missing. Like, someone stole my gnome. Someone stole my little deer or whatever. They come back. And they and- come back, and there's a stack of photos. That brings joy. So... There are pranks and mischief you can do that instead of being bad or like it's a big nasty, it's taking the paint off your car, you know. It could be something uh, that brings people joy. So on uh, Hallow's Eve, have fun, do a little mischief, spend time with family. Tomorrow, get lots of candy. Yeah, hey, it is. This guy's got to behave. I can't promise there won't be a little mischief in the neighborhood. But, uh, you know, tomorrow, you know, we got the thriller going on. You do the thriller dance mm-hmm. with some family and... Uh, Lots of candy. Yeah, the monster mash. You could do some monster mash, perhaps. But uh, just enjoy Halloween. And we're out here at Fernandina Beach. And don't get it twisted. We love everyone. This is about kindness. And just people being kind to each other is really what counts. That's the gla- moral of this. I'm glad to have my son home. Yeah, back, back from the great state of New York. And I Absolutely. will be back again... I love New York, and I miss all our family there. And you had a great time. Yeah, and and I hope a lot of children tomorrow have a lot of fun on Halloween. And uh, if you're alone on Halloween, paint your face. Look in the mirror. Scare yourself. Be creative. Tomorrow, this is what happens to me. I paint my face, right? I'll paint my face, and I'll forget I did it. (laughs) And you walk by, and you see your reflection. And next thing you know, you're like, ah! But no, it's you. You scare <laughs> yeah. yourself. You know, so uh, that that you can scare yourself. Even if you're on your own on Halloween and there's no one coming to the door, no cute kids in costumes, don't hesitate to turn on some Halloween yeah. music and paint your face. You know? Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, Go for it. This is Bill Pickle, Food Travel Adventure. This is the the true best of best. If there's living saints, I went to a church. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> if I had more money, there'd be a nice shrine in that church for this woman right here. No. Saint of all saints, the saint of the, protects the seniors, loves everyone around, continually is the best mother to her children. Not enough praise, not okay. enough words. Okay, we are. We've had a great day, and uh, not all everything you can take it or leave it. <laughs> and uh, have a great day. I love this guy. I'm so glad he's home. Yeah, I love you. Great day on the beach, Fernandina Peace Beach. Peace and love. Ville Pickle Food Travel Adventure. Peace.